For that, first we will create a virtual environment because it is a good practice to create a virtual environment for each separate Python project. So we will also create the virtual environment first and inside that environment we will install the request library. So for that, the Python should be installed in your machine and to verify whether the Python is installed or not, you can run this particular command in your terminal. So the command is python3 space hyphen hyphen version and if you did not get any error here and you get the output something like this which would mean that python is installed in your machine if you get any error or if python is not installed in your machine then you can refer another video and the link of that video you would find in the description below let's create the virtual environment now for that we will move to the folder where we want to create the virtual environment and for this video i would create the virtual environment in my downloads folder so i would say cd and download then in the downloads folder i would run one command to create the virtual environment and which would be this python 3 space minus m v e n v which stands for virtual environment and now i would write the name of the virtual environment which i want to create here so let's say we want to create the virtual environment with request underscore install. So this is the name of the environment which we want to create here. So the environment is created. Let me show you in the downloads folder as well. So here you would see this request underscore install folder is created and inside this this file and folders are present. Now in order to use this particular environment we will have to first activate this and to activate this environment we would have to source one file which is present inside this bin directory so this is the file this activate file we will have to source in our terminal so let me go back to the terminal and here i would run the command to source that file and i would say source and i would give the path of that activate file so i would say requests underscore install and inside that bin directory was there and i would write the activate and i would hit enter now now you would see this request underscore install within these brackets so which would mean that this particular environment is activate now let's now go ahead and install the request library here so we will use the pip command here and we would say pip install and request so i would write it down and I would hit enter now the installation is completed so as you can see this message successfully installed which means the request library is installed properly let's now verify whether it is installed properly so for that we will list down all the libraries which are installed in this particular activated environment so for that we would use this pip list command and here we would look for the request library which is this one and the version is 2.31.0 Let's now try to use this in a python shell. So I would open up the python shell using python3 command and we are in the python shell now. Now we would try to import this request here using this command which is import and request. So I would hit enter now because we did not get any er error here so which would mean the import of request is successful and request is installed properly in my virtual environment. Let's now try to print the version also. So I would say request dot underscore underscore version and underscore underscore. Let's see. So this is the version it has given us which is 2.31.0 which is same as this one. So which is also another evidence that it is installed properly and it is ready to use. Let's now exit from this particular shell by writing exit and these brackets and let's move out from this particular environment from this request underscore install environment so for that we would say deactivate and we would hit enter so now we are out of this virtual environment also so that's all for this video